um, your hand, maybe two if you decide. Uh, you will need a regular printer paper, uh, markers if you have such, um, and pencil crayons. If you decide that you also want to use chalk pastel, why not? You are the artist and you make the choices. So anyway, I wanted to show you some examples of the project that was completed by, um, by the Greenfield students in the past, not just by the Greenfield students, also by um, students from the other schools. So this is one of the examples. Here, the student used two hands. She placed two hands, ask another student, actually no, she could also use um, to draw one hand at a time, you see? She outlined her hand using the marker. First was the pencil and then the marker. And then the student was creating an image around those hands. So choosing was those hands who were talking to her. Right. And she used pencil crayons. You can see first pencil, pencil crayons, and the markers. In case of this artwork, the student placed the hand. Let me see. I will place it the same way. This way here. Right? outline it using the pencil then refine the drawing and after that using the markers completed the beautiful project so you see in this project not only did you use your own hand but you can talk about what you like or what you see in the shape of each separate finger maybe the wrist of your hand arm and so on another good example here you see two hands two hands and each of them looks slightly differently. Here the student came to conclusion that the hand looks like a place where many animals are hidden. This one here is another interesting project when the artist used the Zeng Tango and this is grade 8 student actually. Here and another one here. Okay, so what we want to do first, we want to have again our paper, and I will just pick up one, and I will place, maybe I just sway, switch the position here of the board, because I place my hand in this position here. And I decide, first of all, I can place the hand here, I can place it here, I decide that I will place it here, like this. So, using now the pencil, you see, I will create an outline. Try to be uh, correct, right? So here, one of my fingers already marked, another one, another one, another one. Good tip for you, make sure that you don't press the pencil too much, because when you will press it hard, it will be difficult to erase lines that you don't like. So as you can see, my thumb, for example, is a little bit too big. So I will, looking at my thumb, I will try to correct it. So I will make it a little bit skinnier. I say the same here, a little bit skinnier a tiny bit right so you see and that's why it's so important that you don't make those lines don't draw those lines too heavy so I can use my eraser now see and make my finger my thumb looking a little bit skinnier the same when it comes to my fingers you see I make it a little bit skinnier on the top so that's what you can do very easily right the same here Oh, I noticed that my fingers really move onto one side. Not this. They're crooked. They are not straight. Ay, yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here. This one is moving towards the other finger. So a little bit skinny. Oh, too much. Okay, here it's good. And I have it here. Now, if you want to, you can add to your hand, you can add the nails. And I would do it. So, for example, here could be one, right? You can add here a nice nail, here, right? I like to have nail of the same height like my top of my finger. If you like really tall nails, you can make them, you see? So it's up to you. I just keep mine short, okay? That would be the nail here. Another one will come here, right here. There will be an, oh, this is not nice. So I have to fix my finger here right here and then I place the nail here then I will have another one here okay so I have a whole set of nails 
I have beautiful fingers here, right? If I want to see them as beautiful. <laughs> yeah, here, here, we have the knots here. Good. Okay, and now having this hand, I have to do something with this image. So I will think, mm hmm, what can I do? I can divide the space. For example, my idea, one of many ideas that you can have is you can now outline it, and I would outline it in the, hmm, which color? In the blue color. Okay, so I'm going here and I outline my hand in blue color. Ooh, too pointy. That's okay. So you see, I'm going here, I'm outlining my hand. Uh -huh, very nice here. What do you think? Did I use a little bit too heavy marker? Maybe, maybe this, the skinnier marker would be better. But it's too late, and as an artist, I take the full responsibility, and I have to work with that what I, what I decided to do, right? So, here I am. Um, now, looking at this hand, I'm thinking, hmm, that reminds me on the cactus. I like a cactus here. So I would feel the plant. So this one can become a cactus. So I would make one, two, three. That will be my cactus. You see here? Or maybe another one would come here. So that will be one of my fingers. And I like to have, you see, That's my cactus. Okay, here. Okay, and one of them. And I think that would be not enough. I need to bring the color here, but not with marker. So I will bring, I will use my set of pencil crayons, you see, and I definitely add the color here to my cactus. Here. Here I am. Wow. Now, uh, what should I do with the other one? Hmm. I can follow. I can follow here with another plant when I want to. Or I can make a beautiful sun, actually. You see? So what I will be doing, since cactus has to grow there where it's really hot, I make of this finger a nice sun. Okay? Here. That will be my sun. And I have to now use the, I like to use the highlighter here, you see, because it's really bright. This one is not working so well, it's already used, but that's okay. See, I can, I can dip it in water, no, it doesn't work so well, but it's okay. Here it's working, okay? So I have my, I have my cactus, I have my, oh, this is working better, you see this highlighter? You can also use pencil crayons here. See here. Now what else can I have here? I can have a snake here because that is my team now. So the snake can be done by wrapping around the finger. So for example here, I will have my, my snake. Here, I will have my, this is the head of my snake, and my snake will wrap around my finger. Ooh, my finger here, you see? Wrapping around, and going here, wrapping here around, right? So you see, going here, and this will be a big snake here, okay? So that will be my snake, and I will make it by using, which color should I use, you think? Huh. Maybe I will use purple here. Okay, so my snake will be here with this big eye and the, and the tongue here. And now it's coming here around, you see? So make sure that you really bring it around. Don't worry that you can see the finger. Let's uh, yeah, just go around here, okay? Now from there, I can, I can make different pattern. So what I will do here, you see? I can make a pattern on this snake here, like this, and then make a pattern here, and another, you see, almost like changing the colors here, and this way I can cover the lines, 
right so the same here I can place it here do you see my snake yes you do okay here you see then I'm going here then I, I want to cover this line so you see I will be going here with the marker right here then I want to come here I can come here I can come here see so I already have and which color should I put here I can see which color we can add here I have a pink here. Do you think this? I don't know even if this pink will work. I can use red here. I can use green color here, but maybe red would be okay. So you see, just a little bit of it here, and like this, and like this. So this will be very, very dangerous snake. Okay. Okay, a little bit of it here, a little bit of it here. And if you want to, you can bring some pattern here inside, right? So right now we have a pattern done by using those stripes, but I think we can also add additional. Let me see, I'm still looking here for some stronger colors. Those markers are really used, but that's okay. You see, you still have colors here. You can have colors here. You can have here and then here right so we have our snake then if we want to we can still add you see if you like to you can add some additional patterns here you see, uh, blue would be okay purple would be okay okay so you see we can add some additional patterns here in our snake that will look more interesting right now, so we have a snake on one finger, we have here cactus, we have some here, and I think we can make maybe out of hand a brick. Oh, actually, I like this idea very much. Okay, so what will make the brick? You see, we create those lines here. Like this, like this, like this, like this. I mean, the idea is up to you. Not that, that you have to do the same what I've done, absolutely not. You have to come with your own idea, right? I'm just showing you my idea, right? So you see, I create those lines here. And now, having the brick, you see, I'm going here with shapes of rectangular shapes here, right? Because, and why is it rectangular? Because two sides are shorter. They are not, not equal, those four sides, okay? And now I'm crossing... You see, once I have one row of bricks here, then I'm going with another row and I make sure that the two bricks meet between one in the half of the brick above, right? The same will be here, notice here, right? You see, then everything will look like a brick wall, okay? Here, where I place the line, when I have the brick here, here between, right? Where I make again connection of the bricks, in the center of the other brick right and so on you see here and here and here and here now i leave this brick here the way it is only every second you see here this brick will be the full one and then i break it here i make it a little those lines stronger i break it here and i break it here and i break it here so you can you can see already what we have one here and one here. Okay, so now since I have the brick wall, maybe I will use a pencil crayon. I don't want to use a marker. Highlighter would be okay, but I think that the, the best will be simple to use my set of pencil crayons. And the brick, I like to use brown, but we already have this color here, so I will use orange color here, you see? And I'm going on the top fast. See, I will have my brick wall, right? Now, I want maybe to make the nails looking like the windows. Oh, that would be good. So it's like a part of the building. And the nails will have some yellow color. Okay, let's 
see that that's actually the idea evolves in my head why I'm working on this project okay so you can make a sketch before you start working on this project with, to develop this idea, or you can first, you can simply go first with drawing the outline of the hand and while looking at the, at the print of your hand or outline of your hand drawn on this piece of paper, you develop the idea. So you go with the flow, like many artists go this way. Not all, but some, including me. I like to be very spontaneous, okay? So you see, whew, I have so many colors. Now, I want to have a ground here. I think it will be maybe water reservoir. <sighs> maybe, maybe, or maybe. A... No, I think, I think I know. So I want to have a line. So I will go here, like you see here. That will be the line. And now I want to have another cactus tree here. I think it will be good to have another one here. So I have to go to pick up the, the green marker. Now, see here, one shape. I want to make this cactus tree here. Another one. Another one will grow here, right? I want to extend this one here. It will be a big, big cactus here, you see? And I want to have another one here on the top, right? So maybe one here. Whoa, that's a tall one, right? Now, notice, I want to have those needles, okay? So dot with two extended lines, you see here. Sometimes they have flowers here, but if, and I will draw you the flowers, but when I want to have a flower there, I definitely don't want to use green color on it, right? Here, here. Maybe another one here. Sometimes there are three needles coming through, right? I will just use two. One, two, one, two, maybe another one. Oh, maybe I put the third one here on the edge. Okay, I put another one here. We put another one here, another one here, another one here. Now, the flower, you know what? I think that the flower, which color? Maybe the pink, no, this white one. Okay, I will use yellow here. Okay, and maybe also here we'll have the flowers. Sometimes they have flowers, okay? So now I think we need to have a couple of clouds, right? So the clouds I will make like this. One cloud and then actually just one. Now, I think about the ground here and what I have to have, I probably want to have an orange, almost like an, but we already have a hand in orange, so I don't want to have an orange here. But I want to have green, yeah, still green color here. So you see my cactus is not white, but green, right here. And I want to have a sky, blue sky. Actually, we can have also a little bit of pink color. I almost think it would be nice, or maybe on the ground. So I want to have a blue color. I don't want to use a marker here. I really, really don't want to. I want to have a blue or um, or even this color would be nice, right? Like a purple color here. See, and that will be my sky. See here, that's my sky. Okay, that's my sky, guys. Be careful not to not to go with the purple color on the cloud. We want to leave the cloud white. Okay, the same here. Don't try not to touch yellow rays. Okay, so you see we have lots of lots of guys. I'm so excited. Wow. A little bit more. Wow, we have a snake, two cactuses, we have a hand that looks like a brick wall, and we have a ground here, right? So the ground, um, I'm not so sure, pink, I don't know really which color to use. Could you advise me which color would be good? Hmm, yellow would be okay because you see the sun. I don't know, we can 
also make a nice pattern on the ground it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be let's see you know, what would happen when i haven't i don't know i really don't know it's hard for me to decide but i see this beautiful marker here the color no i don't like this one what about this pink oh this pink looks good okay so let us go with the pink so you see what i want to do i want to be precise by the um next to the blue line and i don't want to cross it right so you see with this highlighter that's my highlighter i don't use anything else i don't i really would not use a marker here unless and uh, i would only use either highlighter or or a pencil crayon or if you have chalk pastels i would use um chalk pastel here and again you are the boss see that's the project that um, I came with, with the idea, but it doesn't mean that you have to do the same. What you want to do, you want to use the outline, you want to use your hand as a springboard or the beginning of your project and use it to create a beautiful, very, very creative uh, artwork with the colors that you want to use, I can't tell you what you have to use. You have to just make sure that it's a very happy, colorful artwork, right? So you see, actually, I use the orange color, uh, the orange, the, the pink color for the ground, and it's fine because it goes in nice contrast with the rest, okay? So I think that I can still um, draw a little bit better um, the background. Oh, and I also noticed that I had forgotten to cover my cactus here with the colors. You see, when I press the green color, the green pencil a little bit stronger, the color is more intense, right? So you see here, I have it. And especially here next to the pinkish color, I want to make sure that the color, that the green is quite visible, right? So you see here I am, and that's... That's my project, guys. Actually, I like it very much. So if you like your project, if you are happy with it, you can sign it. You can use the initial of your name, like mine, I'm Mrs. OK. So I will put O, the letter O and K. You see, I will put O and K, and that will be my signature. So I hope that you will have lots of fun working on this project maybe with your siblings maybe with your parents enjoy it and see you next time bye